Hey everybody, today we're talking about herpes. We asked for your questions, so I can't wait to dive in. Hello, my name is Coach Coop, and I was wondering what are herpes? The simple answer is herpes is a virus. And while there are many types of herpes viruses, like chickenpox, which is also a herpes virus, when we're thinking about sexually transmitted infections, we're usually talking about herpes 1, which is found on your lip, and herpes 2, which is found in your private parts or your genitals. I'm Daniqua, and I've always wondered what the difference is between herpes 1 and herpes 2. Both herpes type 1 and herpes type 2 can lead to genital herpes. And that's because if you get oral sex from someone and they have a sore or they're close to having an outbreak, you can get herpes on your private parts. But the difference is really the location. You can have a sore on your lip for herpes 1, and for herpes 2, it produces sores or maybe even swollen lymph glands down by your genitals or your private parts. What is the rate of transmission in herpes? We don't actually know the rate of transmission of herpes, but we know herpes is very common. And many more people have herpes than we know because most people don't get tested for herpes. If you see a sore on your lip or on your private parts, you might go in and ask your doctor to check and see what that is. Then you get a test for herpes. But many people who have herpes have no symptoms at all, so they're not tested. What should you do if you think you have herpes? If you think you have herpes because you have symptoms like a discharge or sores or swollen glands, go get tested for herpes. Getting tested for herpes is easy. It's a simple blood test. But if you have lesions, your doctor can swab those lesions and send a test to the lab to identify herpes. Um, some of the things that I've heard about herpes in the community that um, I didn't think it was um, actually like a curable disease that once you had it, it was in your body, but it is medicine that you can take to help like monitor it and keep it at a low level. That's what kind of what I've heard about it. This is a great question. It's true, there's no cure for herpes, but the good news is there's treatment for herpes. So if you have herpes, talk to your doctor about prescribing medication that you can either take every day or when you know your symptoms are coming on for an outbreak. If you have more questions about herpes or any other sexually transmitted infection, just send us a message or leave a comment below. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button.